one of the things that motivate scientists in general is the ability to make discoveries with impact. We are at the forefront of commercialization in one of the top pediatric hospitals in the world. The potential here at SickKids is enormous. Ultimately, you're taking it from bench to bedside. To take the ideas, make them impactful, and take them back to the populations both within the hospital and to the outside world. And that's what really what the IP and C office is here to do. My name is Ihor Boschko. I'm the Executive Director of the Industry Partnerships and Commercialization Office at the Hospital for Sick Children in Toronto. So our goal is to bring to market potentially life-saving solutions for patients. So we partner with researchers and clinicians to allow them to focus on the science and we help bring the business expertise to the table to get the technologies to investors and partners. So we have a great team in-house of experts who are both scientifically trained as well as have experience in the business world. I'm Conrad Powell-Jones, the Director of Business Development, and our role is to seek innovative discoveries and we outwardly commercialize them to industry. The market-driven approach is essential in our business. What we are looking to do is to fill an unmet clinical need. We want to make sure that our discovery is going to help patients. My name is Steve Sherry. I'm the Chief of Research at the Hospital for Sick Children. We have seven research programs here, ranging from the study of DNA to the cells DNA resides in, to organs, to diseases. There's a million different meetings happening at any given time, and, and one of the things we've been doing is having the IPNC office attend these meetings because they see the science through a different lens. Is it a rare disease or is it a blockbuster type of drug? Our business development professionals spend a lot of time reviewing, assessing, market reports, financial and competitive landscapes to determine if we have a position before we launch into any commercialization activity. I'm Jessica Chatter. I'm a managing director at Morgan Stanley and I'm the chairman of the Biotechnology Investment Banking Group. Sick Kids is at the forefront in terms of technical innovation. But in terms of supercharging the research that goes on at SickKids, it's really important to start solidifying relationships with both the corporate community from a strategic standpoint and the financial community in terms of accelerating investments. The biotechnology industry is a huge industry. And these companies have lots of capital and they look to secure relationships with hospitals such as SickKids. IPNC works to develop those relationships. The challenge in biotechnology has always been that the product life cycle is really long. It's also been a challenge in terms of getting adequate investment at the beginning of that life cycle. I'm Oksana Hancherenke and I'm Director of Licensing and Industry Partnerships. We try to engage with our researchers very early to understand what this idea is about and how we can position it to the market. We have uh, diverse technologies, not only in terms of application, we also have them in different stages of development. So we're trying to bridge a gap by making connections with uh, relevant parties, including internal and external funding bodies. So we've spent the last five years rethinking how we commercialize technologies out of the hospital for sick children. Rather than licensing out technologies at the earliest possible stage, which I call Tech Transfer 1.0, we now try to develop those technologies and invest in them to a later stage where they're de-risked and have more value both for patients as well as the institution. In many cases, it means we'll be involved in the creation of startup companies to help get these technologies to market. One is a technology developed by Dr. J.P. Julian called the Multibody Technology, which is the foundation for radiant biotherapeutics. It's an antibody-based platform that has utility for oncology as well as infectious disease therapeutics. My name is Jean-Philippe Julien. I'm a senior scientist in the molecular medicine program at the hospital of Sick Children Research Institute. Antibodies are a mainstay. There's now over 100 FDA-approved antibodies. The question is, what's the next generation antibody look like? And so that's what we've been working on, and IPNC has helped in realizing that there was potential in this one particular idea. And so that's where the creation of Radiant Biotherapeutics made the most sense in order to catalyze some of those early fundamental discoveries and then propel them forward with the aspirations of developing clinical products. IPNC really is the catalyst for turning ideas into impact at SickKids. All of these innovations only make sense if they can be applied to make someone's life better. There is so much unmet clinical need and the impact can be so significant. We have this incredible bridge that links the hospital to the Research Institute. I walk through the hospital every single day to see why we're here, why we're doing the research, why we want to develop products that are going to have impact. 
Almost everyone has been touched in one way or another by a treatment or an innovation from SickKids. So the key, I think, to the IPNC office is to make sure those discoveries make it out to the entire world. We're not just advancing science, we're advancing healthcare, leading to better lives.